Hey everybody, uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different. Honestly, I couldn't think of anything to make a full normal episode like I normally do. But I had this idea in my mind, this question. The question is, what if we did not have political parties? Right? What if each candidate ran with his her, or her own thoughts and ideas? Or what if the great political divide was just not there? The first question, what if we didn't have political parties, was thought of by someone hundreds of years ago. For a moment, let's travel back to the year 1796, the year when our first president, George Washington, gave his final address as president of this nation. In that address, he made it bluntly clear that the political parties would tear this country apart from the inside. He advised American citizens to view themselves as a cohesive unit and not divide themselves into political parties. Political parties are nothing but groups who, by the nature of their mere existence, divide America into two opposing sides, the Democrats and the Republicans. Now, people would say, oh, there's the Green Party, the Libertarian Party, and the Constitution Party, and so many others. And they're right, those parties do exist, but their percentage of loyalists is so low, most of the time, they don't even show up on the polls. Now, let's think for a second, uh, what would be the pros and cons of not having political parties? First, there would be a disorder for some time as the political climate adapted to these new conditions. But of course, said disorder would pass within a month or two as politicians started to grasp this new system. Once that is done... There would be some general confusion on the ideals of each representative. Once that passed, it would be smooth sailing. There would be a full overhaul of the federal government, and thus resulting in a truly bipartisan government. On to the second point. What if each candidate ran with his or her own ideals? For this to happen, each candidate would need to renounce political parties and cut their ties with generally accepted ideals, including Republican tax breaks for the rich and Democrats' belief in government assistance. Without political parties, candidates would need to express their own opinions. They would be forced to make laws benefiting their constituents and stop the partisan bickering. If we were to go through with such an idea, the political field would be level after decades of interpartisan bickering and conflict. Finally, we could have people with good ideas and good morals lead this nation to greatness instead of people who have money and connections try to make themselves benefit from the laws. Then, and only then, will we be able to live up to the legacy of our forefathers that every man is created equal.